hello ladies i am back because guess what i had cramped my hair and <clears throat> i had did a whole tutorial on how to do this and my cramps fell out and i didn't even put the tutorial up so i'm gonna do my cramps over so you're gonna watch me comb cramps out so so far i've put spritz and holding spray on here you can only you you can use spritz only spritz but i just decided to use the aquanet holding spray and i'm using this spritz because <clears throat> sorry the pink and white bottle is just too strong for me so i have this hot iron and um this crimp iron and what i'm gonna do is I have it on 450 ladies and you can hear that sizzle and that's just letting you know that the iron is working and it's hot you are going to want to stay away from your face and you're going to want to hold a cramp iron down because if you hold it up like this, the cramp is going to stick up. So you want it flat as possible. That's what I'm going to give you guys. Flat. And I always like to spray just a little spritz. It's only here the sizzling. And I try to count to like 20 seconds. So, you know, we know that we got some good cramps. My, my, I mean, when it rained yesterday, my cramps did fall, but they, they did not fall how they usually fall, like when, you know, they get old. It was just a mess. Okay. So, can you see this cramp? Okay. So, right where this last indent at, where the cramp is going in, you're going to place the iron right back in that indent. And ladies, we are cramping down. You do not cramp up, you cramp down. And when you're cramping, you're going to cramp the hair underneath first. Because if you cramp the hair on top first and then you try to go underneath, it's just a mess. You got hair tangled in. You don't want to do that. Okay. Again. In the last indent, you're going to put the crimp iron in the last indent. And you can count to like 20 seconds again. Um, once you get down to like, if you have any hair that looks thinner, you don't leave it on there that long because it will burn the hair off. And like I said before, this iron is on 450, but please, if you're gonna leave your hair out, do not crimp your hair on 450 because you won't have any. You don't wanna burn yourself. Or your hair. And look at those cramps. Ooh la la. So you about to see what look at this. Well I combed this one out, so we're gonna get to another one soon. So basically I'm just gonna spritz it down. I'm gonna put a little aqua net on it. I'm gonna comb out. I combed it already out, but I'm gonna comb it out again. And now you're gonna hold the hair. Hold it. And you hear that sizzling noise? That means that the job is getting done. Preferably, I would rather have the metal irons. 
the one that comes with the oven, but uh, this is gonna work for now. Well, I don't know what happened. I know I threw one of my urns away, but I don't know what happened to the other one. You know, stuff like that you can't leave around people because people get sticky fingers. Especially now that this style is coming out, which it never left, but you know, they bought the style back out. Again, ladies, you can count 20 seconds. Be careful with your face. I'm going to put a little bit more spritz up here. You're going to do a sizzle. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Crap. And the last indent of the crap. Once again, like I said, ladies, we are crimping down. Ooh. Be careful. This is hot. You're not trying to get burned. You're not trying to get burned. You're looking like Scarface. You're trying to look pretty. Okay, just move down. Just keep moving down. That's all we're doing is moving down. I got a little hot date tomorrow, so I want I want him to see me looking cute, and I want to be prepared because I want to get up in the morning and be rushing and stuff. So I'm gonna complete all of this tonight, you know. And you just, oh, just don't wanna. Still wet. That's how you know it's wet if it's still sticking to the iron. Or that's how you know you haven't let it sit for a long time. Okay. Now we can move along. See this voodoo blue? Ooh. One of um, the employees where I work at, he came up to me. He said that um, the person that was in the um, barber shop had the same color in their hair. And they said it was voodoo blue. So I'm like, voodoo blue. So I went online and I looked it up. And what do you know? I got voodoo blue. I'm going to have them eyes looking voodoo. Hypnotize. I'm going to hypnotize them with the voodoo blue. And as you can see, these cramps are more better than this you can tell this got rained on these got rained on so i'm gonna do a little spritzing at the top up here i'm gonna put a little bit more spritz up there you see the blue for those who can't really see it, that, that is. All right. So we're done with that one, ladies. And as you can see on this side, compared to this side, you can tell this got rained on because when this side actually fall, it'll be still kind of put together opposed to this. You can see that it's just all like splattered, spread it here, there everywhere old mcdonald had a farm you know you don't want it like that so i'm going to continue to cramp and i will be back now i just want to show you guys again i you would have to get a i got a wide tooth comb and you're just combing out the old cramps you could actually wash the hair again but i'm not going to do all that i'm just going to cramp right over what i already Start it. I'm just fixing it. So, ladies, I just want to show you how I'm coming along. And I got one more piece of cramp. So, what y'all think about the voodoo blue? I 
think it's lovely. My favorite color anyway is blue. Now, ladies, this is the end look. I, once again, I like when the curls fall, you know, not when it rains and it falls, but when they, when they get soft. I like when they get soft. Um, so you just like, they like stiff and just, uh, yeah, but they still cute, but I just like when they fall. Now, what I'm going to try is the invisible line or part. So I have some LA Girl Pro um, Conceal. Uh, that's upside down. Let's see. Of course, it's gonna be the opposite way, but you see what it is. Okay, now right here where my track is, you can see where I already have the brown net. I'm running out of conceal. I am going to. Color this in. And I think, because mine's keep, I don't know why when I wake up in the morning, mine's not there, but from my knowledge, they say that you can't spray up on the hair because if you do spray on the hair, it like right up on it, if you get right up on the hair and spray, what's going to happen is it's not going to. Um, it's gonna look like fainty, like the line isn't gonna be as strong as it should be. So, we're about to see how this turned out this time. Hopefully, I do it right this time. Okay, so as you guys can see how close I am to it, you're gonna get a comb, a red tail comb, and you're just gonna Place the red tail comb right there on the line, like right in the middle. And you're gonna spray from a distance. I am using Salon Graphic High Beans Intense. So for my knowledge, you're gonna spray from a distance. And there we have my line. Come a little closer. Do the same, decide the same way. You're gonna spray from this. Working. And there we go. And we have my line. So, ladies, once again, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, it's time for me to shower. Once again, ladies, take your time. You know, the hair isn't going anywhere. I mean, just take your time because, you know, if you do it right the first time, you don't have to go back and do it. And if you take your time and do it, it will look better and pose it trying to rush. Now, if you have somewhere to go, this is time consuming. Do, don't try to rush it. Just try to get up early and do the job so you can look beautiful. Thank you, ladies. Have a good day. Have a good night.